crash and burn. Hey everybody, so I was done. I just done a handful of videos and I was checking my YouTube studio app because it told me that I had a comment and it was this comment here from Jordan Barr, 850. He just posted this like 10 minutes ago. I was all packed up and ready to go home because I think there's like a thunderstorm brewing. And so I was like, I've done enough. I did a handful of videos. And then I read his comment, which is the comment that has been on the screen or it's currently on the screen now. And that is a hell of a good question. I, my reply, of course, was that I am totally gonna do a video about this. And I told him that his comment would get full recon recognition for it. So again, this video is as a result of Jordan Bar 850's comment that is either still up or is come and gone already, asking what exactly happened to Claire Bender Andrew, Brian, and Allison on Monday morning, once the, the Saturday that they spent in detention with each other that formed the basis for the movie, The Breakfast Club. What happens to them on Monday? Was what Claire said when they're sitting upstairs all high in that, discussing their lives about how on Monday everything goes back to normal and we're not friends anymore? Was that accurate? Because personally, I think that's the most likely thing to happen is that concerning people like Allison and Brian, who are social misfits, they're not the coolest people, so they would have something to gain from having like Andrew and, and Claire befriend them because Andrew's the popular jock and Claire's the good looking rich chick who everybody wants to get with. Um, and I guess too, it wouldn't hurt for Brian and Allison to become friends with a criminal like Bender either. God knows what he could get you, right? So they would have a lot to gain from those relationships, whereas Claire and Andrew and even Bender would actually have more to lose socially if they were to be seen socializing with uh, those who are beneath them. So I'm not exactly sure what happens Monday. I mean, does Allison and Andrew's little relationship that they started on Saturday, does that just stop altogether and that's where it, it started and stopped? It, it's self-contained and that Saturday in detention? Or do their feelings for each other continue to grow? And do they, despite the social repercussions that, that Andrew will no doubt face, does he just throw caution to the wind and say, fuck it, I'm going for the girl that I like and the girl that I like is Allison? You could argue the same thing regarding Claire and Bender. Now Bender's friends would tear him apart for hanging out with a chick like Claire, and in the same breath, Claire's friends would tear her apart for hanging out with a guy like Bender. So I'm not entirely sure if those two should hook up. I mean, it's like Bender said though, like her parents like to use like her to get back at each other. So wouldn't he like be outstanding in that department? Kind of making a play for some kind of relationship to continue on between the two of them? So I don't know. So come Monday morning, is Vernon a better person, you know? Will Vernon ever have to answer for him threatening to beat the shit out of Bender, who is a minor and clearly still afraid of Vernon despite all of his, his tough guy talking and all that shit? Does Vernon ever pay a price for that too? Because Vernon really had no right to do that to him. Vernon was a full-on adult and the educator too. And he was like, I'm sick of you making fun of me in front of these kids and I'm going to balls up his fists. And he's like, we're going to engage in a round of fisticuffs. And it's like, no, I, I don't think so, Vernon. You're a piece of shit. So I wonder, this is a really good question. What happens to everybody in the Breakfast Club come Monday morning? Are their lives forever changed? Are they gonna go through and maintain the relationships they developed on the weekend in detention? Or are they gonna go back to the norm of, you know, the cool kids ignoring the uncool kids? I have no idea. This was an excellent question. So again, a big shout out to Jordan Bar 850. Thank you so much, dude, for posing this question to me because this is one I just straight up hadn't thought of at all despite seeing this movie like a trillion times. Yeah, so you guys are amazing. I'm getting out of here because, yeah, I think the weather's getting worse. Have a good night.